Uh, hello everybody, this is uh, Landon13 here, and welcome back to another episode of AHS Horrorcraft. Now today, this is our uh, episode 11, and in today's episode, we're going to be looking at every single building that was featured in Double Features' first part, Red Tide. So anyways, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, the first building in Double Features Red Tide area, we have Bell's Bookstore, and this was built by Tater Tot. So this is the, uh, well, this is the building where the bookstore is. It looks, it looks really nice, i got to say. It actually looks like a house. <laughs> so anyways, uh, let's go in here, shall we? So it's a bookstore with all, like, the books where, where you can buy the books. So, of course, we've got some uh, bookshelves uh, along here because, you know, we can um, pick out any books we like, like horror, comedy, uh, romance, drama, uh, any uh, book title, any uh, genre, pretty much. So, in the show, the chemist buys one of Belle's uh, smug books. So, the chemist uh, buys one of the uh, books and she sees that... Um, Belle actually has a uh, talent, pretty much. And she does uh, give her the black pill eventually, and um, it act and she doesn't become a pale one. Instead, she actually got she actually gets like a boost of uh, talent in her. So, anyways, this is the area where you are uh, pretty much uh, meet the author of the book, and you can get your book signed, pretty much. So yeah, in here we have got the bathroom with a toilet. Yay! And then we've got the bathroom sink right there. And then in here we've got a little like storage room area with some other books, pretty much. And I want to see, I want to see if there's like a uh, area if we can actually, um... yep, yep, there is. Okay, here we go. So up here is probably where the person lives who owns the bookstore. Oh, this looks very nice. So we've got like the living room area right here. Got some more bookshelves right there. Got another bathroom for toilet. And we've got like a bathtub right there. Uh, and then we've got the bedroom right here with a bed. We've got some more bookshelves right there. And then we've got the kitchen with a fridge. We've got the we've got the oven. Uh, we've got the uh, we've got the kitchen sink. Uh, we've got the kitchen sink. And then we've got the pantry where where you are uh, store all your foods, and then you got like the little like uh, table area right there. So yeah, this actually looks really nice, gotta say. But anyways, uh, yeah, that was our uh, Bell's bookstore built by Tater Tot. Let's move on to the next building, shall we? Okay, the next building in Double Features Red Tide area, we got the P Town Town Hall or Province Town Town Hall, and this was built by our uh, Maid of Maple. Anyways, this is the uh, the Town Hall building of our uh, Province Town, and we actually do see it in one episode, pretty much. So let's go inside, shall we? So of course when you enter you've got like the main little like uh lobby area. We've got like stairs on the sides here and this actually looks pretty good I gotta say. This actually looks really well done. I actually really like this. I don't know why, I just do. We've got some windows there, just on each side right here. Got some stairs, but in here is like the main little area. This is like the little like council meeting pretty much. Where they discuss like what to do with uh, Province Town or P Town, we like to call it. Up here is um, this is where the uh, the governors or the mayors or like the mayor of uh, of Province Town would sit, pretty much, just discussing the uh, the meetings, pretty much. Over here's like a little podium where you would uh, talk to the where you would talk to the uh, the people right there. Got some American flags, and then we've got the pride flag right there, and then we've got some uh, seats right here. I gotta say, this thing actually looks really nice. I gotta say, I know it just feels like an actual uh, town hall building, it just looks really good. 
Anyways, we've got this. Okay, we've got we've got that there. Then let's go uh, upstairs. So if we go up here, oh, we got some. Oh, we got. Oh, we actually got some rooms. So right here, it's like a little balcony. This looks really nice. I gotta say, looks really good. And then um, if we go right here, this is just another little like, area with seats up here. Pretty much like the balcony area where the people would sit. Oh, and if we go out here, this is the Provincetown Cemetery. So we actually see this throughout the first part of our Red Tide. So let's go and uh, have a look around, shall we? So we've got a pale person right here in the show, Crystal... Decana is killed by a pal person. So there's the blood right here. Or killed by a pal person right here. And we've got more of the uh, area right here. We've got more. We got we've got some uh, big tombs right here. Uh, yeah, it's just the uh, Province Town Cemetery. Uh, nothing in there. Oh, we've got another area right here. In the show, a pal person accidentally eats a grieving woman. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. It just goes up to the person. Um, it um cuts them with the uh with the glass shard through through the neck, and well, they start devouring them. So yeah, up here we've got a hill right here. We've got more of the cemetery right here. I actually do like the uh, I actually do like how they added the uh the cemetery um in. Provincetown, because we do actually see this area a lot throughout the first part of our double feature. Anyways, over here in the show, Doris and Alma get scared by a pal person, and they're like pretty much running back to the uh, to the house where they're staying at. Pretty much, we'll get another door right here. Yeah, but I really do like the uh, the cemetery. It's like really cool. I gotta say. I don't know, it just adds more, like, it just, I don't know, it just adds more depth to the uh, area of, uh, of Red Tide. But anyways, yes, that was the P-Town Town Hall, Province Town Town Hall, built by May to Maple. Let's move on to the next building, shall we? Okay, the next building in Double Features Red Tide area, we have Austin Summers apartment, and this is built by Gilvis Coven. And we actually see this in the uh, in the flashback episode where um, how uh, Bell and Austin actually met, pretty much. So we've got like a pride flag up there, very nice. And then this is just like the stairs that actually leads up to the apartment, and we've actually got more stuff down here. There's actually a lot to see, pretty much. But let's go over to here and let's begin. So a lot of things do happen in here. So we've got the living room area. We've got some popcorn. We've got some TV. There's blood everywhere. In the show, Bell and Austin shot and ate his roommate. Because remember, the roommate was not being very nice to Austin, so a bit of karma, a bit of karma uh, hit him, pretty much. We've got the other area right here. In the show, Austin lets one of his roommates go accidentally. Oh, and we actually do see one of his roommates getting killed by the, uh, by the pal person at the end of the episode, back in the cemetery area. Got the kitchen area right here. Looks very good. Got the fridge. We've got the uh, we've got a little dining room table right there. We've got some uh, cupboards or pantries to store the food. We've got the uh, the kitchen sink. Then we've got like the big kitchen bench right there. In here we've got another bathroom with another toilet. Uh, we've got the bathroom sink. We've got a bathtub, and then we've got like the other uh, little shelves where where you store your uh, towels. Anyways, uh, moving on. As uh, as we continue, I think there's a yep. There's another little door right here. In here, it's just another little apartment, but it's actually downstairs this time around. And I think this is where they uh, sleep. I think yeah, yeah. I think they do. So we've got a uh, bedroom in here. Oh, here we go. In the show, Austin wrote and created a lot of plays here. Oh, this is where Austin uh wrote uh, a lot of our uh, plays here because 
he uh, he actually got selected by Bell to uh, take the black pill, and and he was actually successful in becoming talent. He got talent in him, so he was like one of the lucky ones. But yeah, we got some uh, we got some uh, screenplays of like the plays on his bed right here. Very nice. In here, we've got another bedroom in here. Oh, and that just leads out to that area right there. So we've got another little bedroom right in here. And then we've got another bedroom. Well, we actually got two beds in here. So yeah, pretty nice. So anyways, uh, yeah, that was uh, Austin Summers apartment built by Gilvis Coven. Let's move on to the next building, shall we? Okay, the next building in Red Tide's double feature area, we've got Mickey Shack, and this is built by Gilvis Coven, and this is the place where uh, Macaulay Culkin's character, Mickey, and Sarah Paulson's character, Karen, lived. But anyways, um, this is the shack where Mickey and Karen lived. So, right over here in the show, Mickey took the pill and started writing. So, Mickey had the talent to be, so Mickey had the talent to write, uh, uh, screenplays for movies. And luckily for him, he did not become a power one, but instead he actually got talent in him. So, that's, so that's pretty cool. So, we've got some, uh, we've got some, uh, stacks of, uh, books right here because those, uh, contain, uh, screenplays of his, uh, books. Right over here, we've got a little, like, um, uh, fireplace area right here. Very nice. We've got a little couch area. Uh, in the show, this is where Mickey showed Karen the art. And uh, in the show, Karen is actually really good at art. She does take the black pill eventually, but she does not become a uh, power one. But she actually takes the black pill by force, pretty much. She has to take it so she can um, protect herself. And we actually see, do see a paint, one of the paintings in one of the best episodes of, uh, of Double Feature to date. One of the best. And we've got like a little like mirror right here. This is where they store their clothes. And then we've got another toilet right here. And I believe this is the shower, I think. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> then we've got a little, and then we've got like a nice little cup. And then we've got a nice little carpet pattern right there. So yeah, pretty nice. But anyways, that was uh, Mickey Shack, built by Gilvis Coven. Let's move on to the next building, shall we? Okay, the next building in the Red Tide Double Feature area, we got the Drag Bar, and this was built by Gilvis Coven, and this location has appeared in the flashback episode. This is also the location where Bell and Austin actually first meet. So anyways, uh, let's go, um, let's go and, um, explore. So, in here, we've got the toilet area right here, we've got a toilet, then we've got the bathroom sink with the mirrors right there. And then if we go over here, we've got the kitchen area, this is where they, uh, cook the food. So we've got two fridges, we've got, uh, we've got some, uh, ovens right there, and then we've got the, uh, then we got the uh, the kitchen sink right there. We got a pride flag right there. Very nice. Um, and then we got the uh, and then we got like some tables over here. This is where the people would um eat their food and um drink their uh, drinks. And then over here we got the bar area. This is where you can um get your uh, beverages, your cocktails, your alcohol, your beers. And then over here is like the other little area where you can um sit. And then this table right here, there's something actually happens here. In the show, the other drag queens roast hat o furniture. Oh, so his roommates actually are uh, uh, pretty much uh, roast him for his um, performance. And this is where uh, Belle actually met, uh, first meets uh, Austin, and he actually gets the black pill, and he does not become a power one, but he actually has talent in him. So yeah, this is a uh, nice stage right here. Very nice. We've got the microphone and yeah. 
That was the Drag Bar built by Gilvis Coven. Let's move on to the next building, shall we? The next building in Red Tide's double feature area, we have the Kemet's home, and this is built by Tater Tot and Gilvis Coven. One of the most important locations in Red Tide, this is the home where the chemist is, this is where she lives, and um, and this is also the place where she uh, makes her black pill. She is basically the creator of the pill. So anyways, first of all, we've got the hallway area right here. So in the show, the chemist forced a pal person out because they were like, they were like transforming into like a pal one and he was not happy and the chemist was like, get out of my house, please. And there's like blood right here. So anyways, the first room right here, we've got a little, we got the dining room table area right here. We've got some candles, uh, we've got some candles right here. We've got some bookshelves right here. In this room, we've just got another little like room right here. We've got a glass, a table right there. We've got some more bookshelves right here. It's just a little like nice little room, I gotta say. And then in here we got and, and then in here we got the kitchen area right here. Where did these doors lead? Oh, they just lead out here. Okay. Let me just uh, shut them. So we've got the kitchen area. Looks really nice actually gotta say. And then we've got some uh, beehives right here for because inside them we I think I think they have honey in them. I think. I don't know. And then we've got like the kitchen table right here. Very nice. Out here is just a another little area, just another little like entrance area right there. Let's close that, and it this just leads back into here. And then in here we go, we got the uh, the main little living room area right here. We got a nice little uh, fireplace right here. Uh, we got some uh, couches. We got some uh, glass table right there. Uh, we've got some more bookshelves, and then over here, um, I think this is her, uh, little, like, um, I don't know, little table right there. And then in here, this is where she, uh, makes the pills. So in the show, the chemist makes the muse pills. That's what they're called, so they're called the muse pills. I j I'm just gonna call them the black pills. The muse pills? And whatever. But anyways, this is where she uh, makes the pills in here. There's like a lot of uh, storage and chests right in here because, well, she does make them, and that's why and that's why the people call her the chemist because she's the one who gives them the pills. So they gave her the nickname the chemist. So anyways, let's go upstairs, shall we? So up here is like the uh, the main little hallway area. So in here we've got like a little like bedroom area right here. Got some uh, things on the shelves here. Got a little like um desk right there. Got a little like uh, nightstand right here, like a little, like a lamp right there on both sides. We've got a nice pink bed. We've got a walk-in wardrobe or just a uh, or a cupboard where you uh, store your uh, clothes. In here we've got the bathroom with a toilet. We're just gonna close that. We've got the bathtub and a shower. We've got the bathroom sink. Very nice. And yeah, that's just connects into there. And there was actually another room um, in here. Yeah. This is the baby crib right there, right here. But basically, um at the end of Red Tide, very much a horrible like uh, ending to the first part. She um she basically takes care of a uh, Harry um no I I forgot the name but she does take care of the uh the names of like the the characters. Then we've got like the little like uh, other baby stuff right in here. Then we've got like little like um walking uh. Or, uh, like little storage area where you uh, store your clothes. Got a nice little fireplace right there. And then this must be her room. Oh, this actually looks, this looks cool. It's like a little like, oh, what is that? What is that? What's this? Oh, the shower! Oh, oh clever. And then in here we've got the chemist's room. This is her TV right there. I do like how I do like how they did the speakers. That is really well done. Got a bed right here. 
and then in here we'll go like, ah, oh, this just leads back into the hallway. But yeah. But anyways, uh, yes, that was, um, that was the chemist home, and this was built by Tater Tot and Gilvis Coven. Let's move on to the next building, shall we? Okay, the next building in Red Tide's double feature area, we got Austin Summers House, and this was built by, once again, by Tater Tot and Gilvis Coven, and this is uh, pretty much where uh, Austin Summer lives during the winter. So yeah, it's actually a really nice house, i got to say. It looks really cool, i got to say. And uh, fun fact, I actually saw this house being built. So yeah, that's also another cool little fact. So anyways, let's go in. So of course, uh, when you when you enter, we've got like the kitchen area right here. It's actually ginormous, i got to say. So you've got like the kitchen area, got the kitchen bench, you've got a little like kitchen table right there. And then we've got a big giant uh, dining room table right here. Very nice. Got some other stuff in the dining room area. What's this? Ah, oh, it's just another little area right here. Yeah, I think I remember Austin actually like um using one of his uh shotguns uh he was like going hunting or something. Anyways, we've got like a piano area right here. Very nice. And this is just another entrance to his uh house. So as we go upstairs, uh it's like the hallway entrance right here. Got uh bookshelves at the end of there. And this is just uh, another little area. Oh, it's a balcony. Oh, very nice. Got the balcony area right there. Anyways, um, this is where we actually see Austin and Harry interact a lot. So there's actually a lot of signs here. In the show, Austin gives Harry the black pills for the first time in the first episode. And, and Austin's like, it's something to inspire you, so something to give you a kick, pretty much. And right here is actually the black pills where they are stored. It's like pretty cool. Yeah, uh, right over here in the show, Austin tells Harry to drink human blood. Oh yeah, to keep the talent, and you gotta. The only side effects of the black pill is um, you have gotta drink human blood, and eventually you're gonna start uh, killing people. To uh, keep that talent in you, basically, pretty much. In the show, hole in your soul, hole in your soul. He basically got another like little like cool little idea from. Uh, I don't know he just says it out loud, but he does write it. So another little um, thing of when you take the black pill, a lot of things actually do come in, pretty much. And then we got a fireplace right there. Pretty much, um, when you do take the black pill and you're actually got talent in you, you are uh, all these uh, things just start coming, f um, like you know, like flooding in, pretty much, and you just want to start doing it straight away. So, anyways, uh, we've got his uh, bedroom right here. We've got a nice, comfy bed. Oh, look, the fireplace actually connects to there as well. It's awesome. And of course, we've got another balcony. Very nice. Anyways, in here we've got the bathroom area with another toilet. Got the uh, the, the bathroom sink and we and we, and then we got his uh bathtub right there. So very nice. And then in here, this is just another little like entrance area to his uh, house. I gotta say oh no 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 it's actually not an entrance, it's just a another little balcony area. So yeah. Very cool. That was Austin Summers' house, built by Tater Tot and Gilvis Coven. Let's move on to the next building, shall we? Okay, the next building in Red Tide's double feature area, we got Lurk Shop, and this is built by Gilvis Coven. And this has appeared in a couple episodes of Red Tide, so let's go in, shall we? So this is our Lurk Shop, this is where... This is where the shop owner Lurk, uh, well, this is where, no, sorry, um, this, this is a shop she owns, it's pretty much, um, a clothing shop, pretty much, but also you can buy some other stuff like watches and, I don't know, other stuff, right? 
But anyways, we've got some clothing right there. We've got some uh, more clothing right there. I think these are clothes. Yeah, they are. We've got Lurk right here. Hello. But if we go over the counter, there's actually more to see. So, of course, we've got the bathroom area right here. I feel much. And then in here, we've got the storage room area. And then in here, we've got the dentist and tattoos and piercing. So, Lurk also does uh, tattoos and piercing and also does, she also does the dentist as well. So, in here, this is where you can get your tattoo or piercings done in here. Very nice. And then in here, the dentist, this is, one scene actually happens in here. In the show, this is where Lurk fills down Harry's teeth. So what she does is first she uh, copies uh, Harry's normal teeth, like prints them pretty much. And then what she does is um, then she uh, sharpens his uh, real teeth pretty much to uh, consume uh, human flesh pretty much. And when he's not using his uh, chompers... Pretty much, he can just he can just put on the uh, the fake false teeth. Pretty much. So right here we've got like the uh, the sink right here. Uh, it's just yes, the dentist area right there. Very nice. And then if we go to the side right here, you can go up here. Hang on, is it? No, okay. We go right here. This is Lex's apartment. So she actually lives above her little uh, store. So in here, we've got, like, the kitchen area right here. We've got the kitchen bench. We've got the living room area with a nice TV. We've got the hallway area right there and there. Got a nice earth model globe. Then we've got, like, the little storage area right here. And then, of course, um, we've got her uh, bedroom in here. Got a nice comfy bed. And then we've got the bathroom in here. Got, got another toilet. Got a bathtub right there, and yeah. Oh, stupid doors. But anyways, uh, yeah. That was Lurk Shop, built by Gilvis Coven. Let's move on to the next building, shall we? Okay, the next building in Red Tide Stubble Feature Area, we've got Belle Noir's Residence, and this was built by Gilvis Coven and Tater Tot, and this is where uh, Belle actually lives during the winter in Provincetown, and this house actually has appeared in a couple episodes of Red Tide. So, uh, before we do want to go in the house, there's actually a couple of things, pretty much. Oh, balcony, uh, no, that's not Balcony. That's more of the uh, porch, pretty much. And right over here, in the show, this is where Karen gives Belle the baby. Because, you know, Belle needs to feed. Very messed up. Anyways, in this... Oh, wow, this is actually much more bigger and more darker. So, anyways, uh, over here, we've got a piano right here. Looks very nice. We've got some uh, other shelves right here. Oh, there's a bell. I need, I need to ring it. There we go. And then in here, we've got the bathroom right here. We've got a toilet right there. We've got the bathtub. And then we've got the, uh, the bathroom sink in there. Then right here, we've got, we've got another little like living room area. We've got, we've got a nice little area right here. There's another bell. I know what I need to do. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. We've got a fireplace right here that actually goes to the other side as well. Right over here is just another little entrance to our house. We will go upstairs soon. Ah, in the show, Belle gives... Yep, that's what she does. She, in a stage of uh, getting the baby, uh, she gives Karen something great. Yep. We've got the fireplace area right here. We've got, we've got the dining room table area right here. We've got the kitchen area right here. Oh, there's actually oh, there's another bell. <laughs> I've got to keep ringing the bells now every time when I do see a bell. <laughs> got the uh, kitchen area right here. Got the bookshelves right there. And then, of course, we've got the stairs. So let's go upstairs, shall we? Very nice. Oh, okay. 
Over here so is just another little, like uh, sitting area right here. Nothing much happens here. We've got two big massive bookshelves right here, and there's one right there. And then in here, this is where Belle sleeps. So we've got another bathroom right here with another toilet. Got the bathtub, and then we've got the bathroom sink. And then in the show, Belle gives Mickey the. Yep, that's what they do. Got a bed, there's blood everywhere. Got a clock, and yeah. Yeah, that was. Uh... That was a uh, Belle Noir residence built by Gilvers Coven and Tater Tot. Let's move on to the next building, shall we? Okay, the next building in the Red Tide Double Feature area, we got the Muse, and this was built by Tater Tot and Gilvers Coven, and this actually has appeared in a couple episodes of Red Tide. So this is pretty much a restaurant in Provincetown. This is where all the residents would uh, come to eat, pretty much. So, uh, let's actually go down here first. Because we actually, I don't think we see this area down here much. So this is like a little staff only area right here. So we've got the kitchen area. This is where they uh, prepare the food. So very nice. We've got some uh, food up here. We've got a burger. Oh, yeah, that's roast. We've got some bread. Very nice. We've got, we've got salad right there. Anyways, moving on. Next up, we've got a storage room area right here. Not really much in there. And then in here, we got these uh, two things in here. So we caught, So of course, we've got the uh, the meat uh, locker area. As, and there's ice everywhere because this is a uh, fridge where they uh, store the, uh, the meats, pretty much. Let's get out of there. And then in here, this is the uh, pantry. This is where they store all the uh, the food, like the bakery, like the the breads, the watermelons, anything really. So yeah, we've got some watermelons and other stuff. Oh, for God's sake, there's no okay. There's no like pressure plate in there. There we go. So when, uh, is there anything else? No. Okay. Oh yeah. So we explored that area. We, so we explored this area down here. This is like stuff only that area. And we got a nice little uh, sign that says Muse. You can actually visit this restaurant in real life in Provincetown. It's not called the Muse, but it's actually called uh, something else. But yeah, you can actually visit this uh, restaurant. And in here, this is the main area. So in here, we've got like the bar area right here. So this is the other uh, bar, and we've got some uh, tables and seats everywhere, because remember, this is a restaurant. So in the show, this is where Mickey flirts with Harry. <laughs> in the show, Belle and Austin buy Harry a drink in this spot right there. And then in the show, this is where Austin and Belle sing. It's actually quite, it was actually, it's, it's quite a fun scene. You just see them two, like, just bonding together, you know, like, they're like friends, they're just bonding, you know, they're singing as well. And if anyone, um, and, and if, and, and, sorry, and if anyone does not like their singing, they will kill them. In here, we've got a little, like, bathroom area right here with a toilet, and then we've got the bathroom sink right there. Is there anything else in here? No? Okay. We've got the pride flag right there. And yeah, that's just another little entrance right here. So that was the muse. Hang on, is there anything around? No, obviously not. Obviously not. Okay. But anyways, that was the Muse, built by Taylor Tot and Gilvers Coven, and let's move on to the next building, shall we? And the final building for Red Tide's double feature area, we have the iconic um, brown house. That's, like, that, that's what's actually called. Well, they don't, like, refer it to the brown house, but the uh, the people that live there are, like, the browns. So, this is where uh, Harry, Doris, and Alma stay here for, like, the winter so he can um, get his uh, writer's block out of him and he can um, write. So, this was built by Stephen Stiles, 
the creator of the server, aka the horror story, Tainted Tot and Gilvis Coven. So this is a very iconic house. We actually see a lot of it um, in Red Tide, pretty much. Got some pal people right here, and you'll probably understand why in a minute. So let's go into the house, shall we? And this is a real house, by the way, so you can actually can visit it in Provincetown, by the way. So yeah. In here is like the little main white little area right here. We got Ursula right there. Got some uh, carpets right here. In here we've got like the uh, dining room table area right here. Very nice. In here we've got the kitchen. And something actually happens here. In the show, Harry drinks Doris's blood. Like, like he sees, uh, he sees Doris bleeding and he immediately goes, just goes up there and starts drinking her blood. But he manages to, uh, stop himself. But any, yeah, there's blood everywhere. Got the, uh, got the ovens and then we've got the stoves. We've got the kitchen bench right here. And then this is like another little room. In the show, Alma takes the pill to be better. What's this say here? Alma play desperate, de desperate to. So Alma actually plays the violin, she takes the pill, and um, she actually becomes really talented. But she is the one of the most hated characters in this season. But my god, I hated that. I hated that character so much. And she got away with it. God damn it. In the show, Harry writes his TV show scripts. Ah, uh, yes, so this is where uh, Harry actually uh, writes the scripts for his uh, for for TV shows, pretty much. Once he takes the black pill, all these ideas pretty much just comes flooding in, similar to uh, Austin, pretty much. Oh, we've got blood here. In the show, this is where the cop lady was killed. Yeah, this is where she was killed in episode 3 by uh, Alma. Got a fireplace for area right here. I think we see this room a lot in the house, but this house is actually really iconic, I've got to say. In here, we've got another little room area right here. We've got some bookshelves. We've got, I don't know, it's just a little area right here. That's uh, another little random little area right here. And then we've got like a dock right here. This is like the dock, I think. I'm not too sure, but yeah. But anyways, uh, let's go uh, upstairs, shall we? So in here, we've got a little, got a little like a uh, little room area right in here, and this is where uh, Harry and Doris actually sleep. So we see this room a lot as well. So we've got like a mirror right there, got a little fireplace right there, and um, Two things actually happened in here. In the show, this is where Alma tried to eat her bro, and Harry was not happy about her doing that. Like Harry actually has standards, you do not touch your brother, and he actually and he actually does, I'll destroy your violin if you do it again. And she goes, Okay, I promise. And she does actually listen. So we've got the bathtub and a shower, we've got a toilet, the bathroom sink, and also where Doris turns into a pal person pretty much right here. And one of the most biggest biggest uh, twist ever, Doris does not have any talent and she becomes a pal person pretty much. And the whole story of Double Feature is just left unsolved pretty much. But hopefully we can go back to Promise Town and pretty much wrap this story, uh, this story of Red Tide back up, but I don't think that will be happening anytime soon. Double feature was the worst season. I had the misfortune of watching. In here, we've got the bedroom area. This is where Alma, uh, this is where Alma stayed. So in the show, this is where Alma saw the power people staring at her menacingly and actually freaked her out. Yeah, that's why there's, uh, pale people out there now for like the scene, pretty much. And then in here, we've got another little bathroom area right here. Originally, Alma's room was actually in here, and the bathroom was actually in there, but I think they actually changed it. So we got a toilet, got the bathroom sink, and then we got a bathtub right here. And then we got the uh, the bath mat right there. But yes, that is all the buildings from Red Tide, Double Feature Part 1. So yeah, that was uh, built by Stephen Stiles, Ted Tot, and Gilbert's Coven. So yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, 
that is uh, episode 11. And of course, this was part one. So in the next episode, we'll be continuing with uh, checking out all the season 10 buildings. This time in part two will be Death Valley. But anyways, if you did enjoy this uh, episode, make sure to click the like button, click the notification bell, and click the subscribe button. It's right down there to become a Team 13. Uh, the server IP is horrorcraft.mc.gg. Uh, It'll be in the link in the description below. And the official Horrorcraft Instagram page will also be in the link in the description below, so you can um, go and follow them. But in the next episode, we'll be continuing looking at... Um, the rest of the builds from Season 10's double feature. The worst season of AHS by far. But anyways, uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this uh, video, well, yeah. But anyways, that is that is Landon13 signing for now. Goodbye.